Hey guys, Marianne Elliott from 360 Mortgage Solutions. So today I wanted to jump on and share with you the top three things that you need to be aware of when it comes to the settlement of your home. So the first and most important thing is to make sure that your deposit is put in either your account that the bank who is settling your loan has access to or you've transferred it, you've transferred it into your solicitor's trust account. Now this ideally gets done at least 48 hours before your settlement for two reasons. Firstly, that way you can confirm that it's all there and nothing short, but also if there are any delays in getting the funds across, giving that extra little bit of room will mean that your funds are there in plenty of time for the day of settlement. The second thing that you need to know about settlement, and this is quite a common one, is settlement could happen at any point in the day. It might be booked for, say, 1.30 in the afternoon, but the reality is it can settle at any point. And typically, I find that settlements are settling later in the afternoon. So something a lot of clients consider if you're wanting to take the time off work especially if it's your first home and you're not necessarily moving in straight away, you may not want to take settlement day off work, but take the day after because that's when you will be able to get the keys and start moving things straight away. And finally, the third thing to note on the day of settlement is, and I say this to all my clients, don't log on to your internet banking. Now, I know that sounds like a silly thing. The first thing you want to do is have a look at your finances after you've just gone into debt. But the reason behind that is typically I find on the day of settlement, things can look a bit skew if, and it takes the night for everything to settle down and then in the morning, your net banking will look a lot more normal. In the times where clients haven't been warned, I usually get a, a panicked text message or phone call later in the day after settlement asking me questions about why their internet banking doesn't quite look right. My most common reply is, Please log in in the morning, have a look and let me know if it still looks wrong. And every single time I get a text message in the morning saying, just logged on, it all looks good. Thanks, Marianne. And the reason is unknown and what usually looks wrong can differ. I've had some clients say the bank didn't take any of their deposit. I've had other clients say that the bank looked to have taken more deposit than what was needed. And I've even had clients tell me that it looked like the home loan hadn't even been drawn yet and yet they had the keys to their new home. The reality is it does take a little while for everything to work through and for your net banking to reflect your new position. So I always encourage you to log on the day after settlement and if it looks wrong then you absolutely should contact your broker because that is when we need to look at getting things fixed. Don't forget, if you want to know more about your first home buying journey and how you can make it as simple as possible, you should check out the First Home Buyer program. I'll pop a link below so you can find out more information, but it's aimed at guiding you through all the things you need to know from preparing for your purchase around how much deposit do I need, how much can I borrow, all the way through to once you've settled your loan, how you can start getting it repaid and save yourself as much interest as possible. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you hit the link below. I'll also pop a link direct into my diary. So if you wanted to book a one-on-one -on -one appointment with me, you are absolutely welcome to. I offer online appointments via Zoom and also face-to-face. -face. So other than that, guys, that's it from me. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll catch you in the next episode.